You have just completed a photo shoot for your client and generated 300 photos. Your client called and said, hey, why not send us those 300 photos? Let us take a look at it. We'll pick what we like and only then you start editing them. And hence, your biggest worry now is that what if your customers nick 300 of your photos and never come back to you? How do you get out of this awkward situation? Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can overcome this professionally. Very simple. You are looking at a photo I'm about to send to my client. Now, instead of sending the photo, it's full size. One of the best way you can do is head on to Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop CC here. Head on to image, image size. Make your photo smaller. Not big enough for it to be temptingly to be stolen. Look, I'm not implying that your clients or my clients steal out pictures. But it's always safe to be careful because maybe you might even want to put this picture up on the internet, on public domain. And the last thing you want is that people copy them and abuse them. So the best size to send over would be 800 pixel in size. Now, click OK. 800 is just big enough for preview without insulting your client, but then not big enough for it to do a proper print. Now, this is just the first step. The second step, I'm going to teach you an easy way to add watermark. I know what you've been doing. Some of you have been using the text tool, and you come in here, and then you choose a color, and start typing Andrew's Studio. Right? Now, here's the problem. This is just one. And not only that, you're typing on top of the photo which is very destructive and you have 300 photos to do. Now, the first thing that you want to do is head on to File and click New. Yes, you're opening a new canvas. Now, since my original photo that I'm going to be sending out is 800, try to make this maybe like half of the size. Say maybe 300 would do, not even half. And let's, let's just make it a square, 300 or maybe 300 by 200. And make sure that you scroll down and choose a transparent canvas. Start by selecting the text tool. Choose black color to begin with. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Hexa zeros, that's going to mean black. Click OK. Now my font is a little bit too small, so I'm going to choose a bigger font. There's Andrew, boys, Studio. Done. So I'm going to drag this in the center. If you want to make this smaller, go to your keyboard. Look for the command button. Command T. As you can see, there will be placeholder. You can now head on to the placeholder. Now to zoom in and out, this would be the key. Command negative and command positive. Now try to learn keyboard shortcuts because too many professional photographers that I know of, we use our mouse a lot on top of our uh, notebooks and all this. We tend to get couple tunnel syndrome. That's not fun. So learn some keyboard shortcuts. That will reduce the amount of time that you spend on your mouse or your tablet. Now hold on shift before you do any fonts resizing because every time you do not hold on shift and you start doing this, some font designers out there die. <laughs> not fun. <laughs> Click escape. Hold down command T and hold down shift. That will allow you to resize to a size that you like. So put it here. As you can see, when I'm in the center, Photoshop will give me that pink little line. That's what I like about CC now. Now click enter. Well, maybe you want to put on a logo as well for your watermark. Right. So I'm just going to head on to my desktop and got a logo on my desktop. Right click, open this with Photoshop. Command A. So Command A is to select all. 
Command C is to copy. Notice how much time I save instead of using my mouse going to edit and click copy. So once you have copied this, come back to this layer, paste it. That's my logo. So I'm going to put it somewhere here. That's a little bit too big. Again, to resize this layer, so as you can see, this appears as two layers now. Command T and hold down shift. That will preserve the aspect ratio. Put it in the center. So you now notice that, great, I've got this now. Now once I've done this, this is an important step that will save you tons of time. Head on to edit. Look for define brush preset. What I'm trying to show you here is that you can now save this as a brush. Click on that. Give it a name. Andrew's watermark. Click OK. You can actually close this off now. Back to the photo now. Now instead of doing anything on this photo, always have a habit to work the non-destructive way. And this is what we like about Photoshop. Click on a new layer here. As you can see now, it's a transparent layer on top of that. Now, here's the cool part. Remember you created a brush preset? Head on to your brush now. Voila, it's a brush now. So you can actually choose brush from here. Let me hide this layer. This is where the brush tool and preset is. Ordinarily, your brush types would be here. So again, using the square bracket on your keyboard, this one would make your brush smaller or bigger. So that saves a lot of time. Learn your keyboard shortcuts and don't get pain here. So I'm going to hit on there and choose my brush. I can see it's here. Now, I know you can change color with your brush. So you might be tempted to use red and click OK and boom. See how beautiful this is. But Try not to use color because sometimes your subject might be wearing the same color as your watermark. So I'm going to go back and show you the foolproof way of creating watermark, not annoyingly. I hate photographers that create watermark this big. I just don't understand. Huh? <laughs> Undo. Choose gray color. Use gray color watermark. This is black. And this is white right here in between. Because gray will always show prominently in white and also black. So now strategically find where you want to put the watermark. So I've got one here, I'm going to put another one here, I'm going to put another one here, I'm going to put another one here. But try to avoid putting watermark on your subject's face. That's pretty rude. Ling Ling won't be too happy, you know. Undo. So you notice that I've got my watermark here and they are somehow a little bit too strong. So hit on to layers and because I created my watermark on another layer, you can now bring down opacity right here. Bring it down. Try not to shout to your customers your watermark. Done. So I've got my watermark. Happy with it. Gonna send it out to my customer and here's the last thing you want to learn before you finish today's tutorial, file, save as. Choose JPEG. It became Photoshop because you've got two layers. And Photoshop knows that and say, hey, you would like to save the Photoshop. You don't need that. Choose JPEG. JPEG is a very friendly format that most computers and OSs can open. Click on that. And get a habit of naming your file. Number one, do not rename your file because your clients will pick the picture and you cannot remember what is the name of the original file and looking for them among the 300 photos not fun hyphen 800 width that's what I like to do without opening the file I know it's 800 width pixel and then it's a preview save it on desktop in my case click save now you do not want to have a quality JPEG is a compression compressed file format so putting it too high would be too big and it's not fun sending over with Dropbox and all this. You might want to send a couple of pictures over through the email. Bring this down to level 7. That's good enough. Too good, you might put yourself in a situation where they will just take the pictures. 7. Click OK and zoom in. That's all you need. 
You have just witnessed our very first Photoshop image editing tutorial on our channel. We're going to be doing more of this. If you like what you learned today, write to us because we want to know what you want to learn in image editing and post-processing. Now head on to our website as well and check out our e-learning there. Now before I bid you goodbye to this tutorial, I want to be the first to wish you Merry Christmas. Oh, and in the next upcoming episode, I'm going to teach you how you make your watermarking process even more effortless and professional.